This song is also sung by June in space. The difference here and why I did it this way is because in the previous song, uh, Steps in Time, she's sort of singing to Shiny about how she's going to sort of be responsible for saving him and her destiny is fulfilled. Well, what is the song about where rain must fall? Now, because she's finally sort of have her Valentine dream fulfilled, she goes into a fancy. And I love old Hollywood musicals. And so in my mind, this is the Hollywood musical moment where June openly fantasizes about what her life with Shiny is going to be like when she's able to save him. And she has this magical, mysterious kind of idea. Uh, the lyric, as you'll hear, is she's singing about a, a stairway. Uh, sorry, I, actually, that was the original lyric, a stairway to the stars. And I thought, eh, that's a little too obvious. So she sings a starway to the stars, which is kind of an inside pumpkins joke, because what is a starway? Well, I just made the word up. So she's going to take a starway to the stars to find Shiny and uh, bring him back. And, and every, everybody's going to live happily ever after. It's her sort of 1920s, 30s fantasy of what love is like, and it has a very particular spin to the character. And so when you hear the lyrics uh, coming up here in a moment, uh, just remember this is June singing. In, in essence, she's left the spacecraft, and she's floating through space on a starway to the stars, and she's going to grab Shiny, and they're going to dance, and everybody's going to fall in love, and, and the movie's going to end happy. Of course, it's a Smashing Pumpkins album, so I'll let you figure out whether or not the movie ends happy. But I love writing stuff like this. And one thing, and it's not a defense of the concept record concept, but what I love about a song like Where Rain Must Fall is this song probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the fact that we were doing a long concept record like Autumn, a 1930s musical where the female lead, June, her fantasy has come true. Shiny's love is within her grasp, at least psychologically. And this is her pan to Shiny what their love will look like when she gets her clutches on him. 